Good afternoon and welcome back. Uh, in today's session, we are going to continue exactly where we left in the last session. We were discussing the topic on the godowns, warehouses, distribution center and fulfillment center. Once that is covered, we are going to discuss one more very, very significant and important area of logistics and supply chain management and that is called inventory management. And inventory management, by the way, goes hand in hand and has very, very close relationship with either warehousing or distribution center or fulfillment centers. But to start with, in the first session, we are going to complete our topic on warehousing, distribution center and fulfillment center. We have, ha we had a complete two or three sessions on warehousing earlier, if you remember. So, we are not going to discuss warehousing as a function in this particular uh, session or what we discussed last time if you remember. We just want to draw a resemblance or difference between the three facilities, a warehouse, a distribution center and a full unit. And just for uh, comparison sake, uh, just to uh, 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 let you know the, the, the beginners that how, how does warehouse graduates from uh, the concept of go downs and how in the current in the last one decade or so and particularly primarily with the uh, the boom in e commerce sector how warehousing has given uh, has resulted in distribution center and fulfillment centers if you remember the distribution and fulfillment centers has more advanced and their functions and the features of distribution and uh, fulfillment centers are more, much more than the warehouse. Just to quickly go back and recap, the go down as we had discussed, it is a very unsystematic way of stocking goods at a particular place. And these are primarily available in places where items, bulk items are stored, which does not have the danger of being, being stolen or being damaged and they may not necessarily be required in to be to be organized in, in a systematic manner. And we have seen many go downs either in factories at, 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 at railway go downs that we have seen at the, at the cargoes. So, there are number of bulk items which are stored uh, because primarily they are stacked on the floor on pallets and a basic manual uh, way of uh, maintaining their inventory is, is, is maintained as far the go downs are concerned. So, we are not going to discuss the concept of go down in detail. Warehousing as you know is a very, very systematic, is a systematic process. It is a facility where companies store their goods for future use. And as you know, we have been discussing the concept of supply chain management that it all starts from the supplies of raw materials to the manufacturer, to the distributor, to the retailer and then hence to the end customer. So, at every stage there is a requirement either by the company who is supplying the raw materials or the companies who is responsible producing the finished goods or hence after that the distributor, the retailer. So, everybody has a requirement of storing goods for a while because first of all everything cannot be distributed to the customers at one go. There are different concepts if you remember we had discussed that there are a number of reasons why, why shipments or goods needs to be stocked, maybe for future use, maybe as a safety stock, uh, maybe the orders are to be fulfilled at a, at a, at a, at a phase wise uh, for a certain period of time. Uh, there are a number of times when uh, the, the components are also stored because they need to be constantly you know fed to the plant or the factories for producing the uh, uh, final product. So, warehousing we are not going to again uh, discuss on warehousing in details because here again we are here to discuss the difference between or the, the, the basic difference between the warehouse distribution center and fulfillment center. We have discussed warehousing in details earlier. So, we are not going to cover that, we are going to talk more on distribution center and we did discuss about distribution center in detail in the previous session. How it differs, how different it is from warehousing, how a distribution center is different from warehouses. Uh, distribution center primarily has been a result 
or 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 a, um, uh, or an offshoot of the e-commerce company companies, and thus because the customers are very volatile, the demand are increasing, the number of the um, uh, the number of the kind of products range range of the products are increasing by the day, so there is a need for prompt delivery, since there are different kind of product range, so there is a need to store different kinds of products, segregate them, sort them, packet the way they are required, and most important and most important, the fulfillment that is the delivery process from the time that a shipment is ordered by a customer and delivery it needs to be extremely prompt and efficient. There is another very important factor which has uh, of course, the uh, uh, reverse logistics that we discussed uh, before, um, it has been there for, uh, for quite, quite some time now, uh, for, but particularly for the industrial goods. Now, we are talking of when we are talking of e-commerce, we are primarily talking of uh, referring to consumer goods. Now, there are number of reasons we see that there are goods which needs to be retrieved back from the customers. The customers are as we said always supply chain management, the development of supply chain management is primarily because the demand of the customers, the customers have become very important. It does not matter how we produce, we need to produce what the customers expect from us. So, today the customers demands are on a rise. So, they are ready to pay an, a premium for every service or product that they need, but they need the product, they need the services as desired by them. So, there comes here comes the concept of reverse logistics, an apparel or a shirt or a t shirt or a or, or a dress material which is not as per the what the customer required would be promptly sent back. Any, any shipment which is found damaged any shipment which is found short of what was ordered would be promptly sent back. So, the e-commerce companies or the, 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 the digital market places, the online market places, whether it is Amazon, Flipkart, Alibaba, whoever, they are trying to value add by accepting these products, by accepting these products, they take the products back, they send back to the, to the plant or to the manufacturer and ensure that a prompt replacement is done. So, this distribution center, the fulfillment centers also function as a reverse logistics center as well. So, we have seen distribution center, what they do, what are the additional services, services they provide. So, warehouses do not take responsibility of packaging or sorting or they do not take the responsibility of a logistics services, of an outbound logistics, of transportation, of maintaining inventory, etcetera, 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 which the distribution centers are willing to do. So, distribution centers are more technology driven, they have more data, they are more, they are closer to the customers. Many distribution centers also have customer care centers, which the warehouse do not. Warehouses are generally, and uh, why generally? Warehouses do not are not customer facing facilities. They do not interact with the customers. They only they are res, they are only responsible for a warehouse is only responsible for storing shipments systematically. And how they do that are not going to be discussed as we have already done before. So that's what we said about distrib uh, distribution center. Now there is always a a confusion a doubt between what a distribution center and a fulfillment center is. By the word itself you will know distribution and fulfillment, the center remains a center, a facility remains a facility. Every company today, particularly we have just mentioned the e-commerce companies, they are very, very focused at fulfilling a customer's order. Now, let us go to the to our presentation and see exactly what fulfillment means. It is a steps involved, there are basically three steps which covers the term or the function or the concept of order fulfillment. They receive the order, they have to receive the orders from the customers, they need to process the order and deliver the orders. So, a service through a third party company, but 
there are certain companies who manage their own fulfillment centers or there are fulfillment centers who are dedicated to a particular company for instance maybe an online services but basically these are third parties these are third party center or third party facility or third party function who are connected to the e-commerce or the on or online sellers or online companies online marketplaces basically to connect the manufacturer the suppliers of the items to the end customers and in between there are a number of processes and steps that are involved let us go to the next slide as always you when i send you the slides for study you can read through the slide but as always please refer to few of the words which are very very significant over here receiving packaging shipping any company selling products directly to the customers must deal with fulfillment this term is most often associated with e-commerce so e-commerce companies are selling they are procuring items from the suppliers manufacturers and delivering directly to a customer distribution and fulfillment center what is the basic differences the basic difference is distribution center would actually distribute the shipments to a to the retail shops or to a, a retailer who would ultimately deliver to number of customers in the in, in his or her area whereas a fulfillment center more often than none would deliver directly to a customer to an end customer bypassing a retailer let us continue with our slides. E-commerce merchant to outsource warehousing and shipping. So, a company who is in the business of e-commerce or online who is an online marketplace, his primary role or his primary function or business is to connect a supplier with the end customer, provide enough data provide convenience of purchasing provide convenience of shipping but in between there is a logistic service that is required when it comes to logistic services so a cell phone or a tv or any item as such it could be a food product as well it can be apparel it can be furniture it can be any product today almost every product under the sky can be sold online so manufacturer so it is one thing in getting manufacturers on board on your platform and also get getting the buyers on board but to connect them through delivery of a particular product requires certain logistic services and these logistic services would include receiving the product somewhere because these e-commerce companies most of them do not own their own distribution or fulfillment centers there are number of e-commerce companies who are not as big as the ones that we know exist whether it's amazon or alibaba or flipkart or whatever it is they do not run their own distribution or transportation center so they outsource a fulfillment or distribution center whose responsibility is to process an order the order is received from the e-commerce company they also provide the logistic service of receiving the shipment in their facility sometimes pack label it as per the orders received maintain a, a, an inventory level and inform the the, 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 the online company or the e-commerce company and also becomes responsibility in the onward transshipment or transportation of that particular product and depending upon the size the quality the value of the product different delivery systems are undertaken different delivery systems are executed sometimes it is it, it is through uh, a, a, a local courier sometimes it's it's a cargo delivery uh, process it, sometimes it is it is a last transportation system it is sometimes bikers so it depends but all these are taken care of by the fulfillment center so they act as the logistics wing primarily 
all fulfillment centers work as a logistics wings of these online marketplaces or the e-commerce companies. So, that is the basic difference. Let us continue with our slides. So, here are step wise in the next slide, we show what are the roles of the fulfillment center. If you can go to the slide once again, it is to re receive and review the items, because once they have received the shipment, they have to review the items as per the order received from the e-commerce company or from the online company. So, they should be in a position, the fulfillment center should be in a position to scale their business. That means, they should be able to enhance their capabilities, the scale of operations, they can enhance their size of the warehouse, they can enhance their distribution system, they can enhance their uh, the, the labors, because there, there is a possibility that there may be the orders may increase over a period of time. So, for the new product line in future, fulfillment would not require additional attention. Outsource fulfillment speeds up time. Fulfillment centers are often able to get a better rate than an individual online store could on its own. So, obviously, fulfillment center, if I am an e commerce company, if I am an online marketplace, I have to pick up or I have to procure an item from a supplier and deliver it to a, to a customer. Okay. And if I wish to use and if I you wish to uh, uh, depute my own transportation, I want to uh, control my own transportation system, I may not get the best rate because my orders are limited, because my volumes are limited, because my numbers are limited. Whereas, a fulfillment center, it is not necessarily is dedicated to one particular company. He is a fulfillment center for a number of e-commerce company Hack, and he can apply what we call he can get better rates from the transporters, because he has a bigger volumes or he can have, he can provide better, uh, better warehousing rates, because he has number of companies associated with him, that particular fulfillment center. So, what we are saying over here, he can apply economies of scale and pass on the benefit to the e-commerce company. Let us go to the slide once again. Lower fixed shipping costs, outsource fulfillment centers and package tracking numbers to merchants, the information to the customers, outsourcing fulfillment strengthens your returns process, selecting an outsourced warehouse fulfillment center, make sure you can integrate with your existing e-commerce software. What is very important over here with a fulfillment center is that an integration and in supply chain, in the overall supply chain concept, we have been only speaking of integration we have been only speaking of linkage. So, there is linkage, there is association, coordination at every stage of the supply chain and so with the distribution center, fulfillment center as well, because the success and failure of the fulfillment center will directly or indirectly and most and more often than that directly affect the services of the e-commerce company. Any shipment which is not stored properly damaged not delivered the way a customer requires or not packaged properly, not labeled properly, etcetera, 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 is ultimately going to affect the brand of the e-commerce company, the reputation of the e-commerce company. So, there needs to be a, a sync, a sync between the e-commerce company and the fulfillment centers. Most important today, we have seen data is playing a huge role. Keeping the customers informed is an important role. So, a fulfillment center basically plays the role of a logistics partner, an advanced logistics partner, a more personalized services. Now, any, any individual who buys from an online market, he is actually buying from that e-commerce company. So, he is connected to the e-commerce company and not the fulfillment center. Now, the e-commerce e company is committed to the buyer in terms of services and also in terms of providing information, providing status, providing an update, whether it is a local shipment, whether it is an interstate shipment, whether it is an overseas shipment, wh whatever it may be. So, at every stage, the customer expects to be informed. Now, how would he get informed unless the information, because he does not have a tracking 
the tracking has to be done ultimately done by the logistics partner and in this case the fulfillment center or the people or the or, or the or the units who are associated with the fulfillment centers they have all the data they have the data in terms of packaging if they have the uh, data in terms of the shipment being dispatched they have the data in terms of when the shipment has been delivered they have the data in terms of what the customer feedback is etc 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 so these data needs to be synced to be so the software the technology of the e-commerce company and the fulfillment center needs to be very closely integrated let's go to the next slide so functions we said receiving broadly we said receiving inventory management order processing shipping and returns processing we are not going to discuss all of them in details but at least we'll tell them what does receiving mean you need to count you need to cross check because the shipment has come from the manufacturer and the shipment was ordered by the e-commerce company so it's the responsibility of the shipping company to see whether the the, the quality the numbers the whatever whether there is a damage, whether there is an uh, excess delivered, whether there is a shortage, etc. Then inspect the quality, the contents, and then apply the stock keeping units. That is as far as the receiving function is concerned. Then inventory storage. In the next session, we are going to discuss inventory, which is very closely associated with warehousing. So, inventory is maintaining the stock. As of now, this is what I am going to tell you. You are going to learn more about inventory in the next session. So, it is the responsibility of the fulfillment center to maintain the inventory. They have been, they are required to maintain a certain level of inventory. So, whenever there is a shortage, they need to reorder. They need to maintain the inventory properly. They need to maintain account, etc., etc., etc. Next order processing the receiving the picking of the shipment picking it from the warehouse there's a picking process there's a packing process once the packing is done you would have all seen the packets are being barcoded so you need to scan it and if we all know we discuss in transportation the function of scanning what it helps it 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 captures all the data pertaining to the journey of that particular shipment right from its its uh, position at the rack and then its onward journey then when it ships you need to weigh the ship you have to decide which model method of shipping is uh, most 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 uh, effective for a particular shipment uh, because as as we just discussed that today anything under the sky is available online so there are different types of shipment for instance furniture which are bulk shipment you cannot have the same type of shipment for furniture that you would have for a cell phone or maybe a food or maybe a frozen item correct for frozen item you need to have you need to have refer vans and etc etc so mode has to be uh, um, decided and then weighing shipping method and tracking the shipment most important tracking because this tracking is also connected to the e-commerce company it is very important we all know today that at, at, at our fingertips we know even when we order a food from a restaurant we know exactly when the order was received by the restaurant when it was picked up by by the by the the, the fulfillment center or the logistics partner whether it has arrived it is delivered every sort of data are at our fingertips and also return processes this is something we discussed at the very beginning this is though we have mentioned this particular feature or function right at the end of the function but today it is a very very significant and important function of returns processing if you remember when we discussed fleet management and transportation we discussed that reverse logistics or return management adds cost to a company it does not add to the revenue of a company so it is essential that every logistics company, every logistics partner apply the optimum way of retrieving shipments from a customer. How receiving and delivery can be synchronized? We have seen even major bigger companies like, of course, it, does, it has nothing to do with e-commerce, just to tell you how reverse logistics, how return shipment operations, how 
a very efficient reverse logistic process can help a company reduce its cost because it only adds to the cost and not to the revenue at all. We have seen the example of Coca-Cola or Pepsi, how the bottles, empty bottles are returned or picked up by the same delivery boys or van or whatever it may be, who actually delivers the filled up bottles and in the on the return they would collect the empty bottle sent to the plant for washing, collect the filled up bottles again. So, this, this is a cycle. The same thing happens, it is very, very essential for fulfillment centers or distribution centers who operate in large quantities in very big numbers. They need to identify and design a very, very efficient system of reverse logistics or return shipment or retrieval of shipment. So, this is what we said, if you can go back to the slide once again, we have given you an example of Walmart and Amazon. Read this carefully, take your time. Walmarts use distribution centers to get product to their retail stores, who then typically sell to the individual customers. Amazon.com on the other hand, which we all know, Walmart uh, sorry, Amazon.com is an e-commerce company, it is a marketplace, is, a, is an example who use fulfillment center. These centers are picked and sent directly to the end customer. Distribution center usually deals in cases of bulk shipment, while fulfillment center usually deal with eaches, that means individual each shipment. So, fulfillment centers are more focused on an individual customer's fulfillment needs. It fulfills the need of that customer, whereas a distribution center would generally deliver shipments to customers, but not directly, but through the retail outlets and retail outlets in turn would deliver to the end customers. Before we move any further, I am going to show you a video. It is a short video for a couple of minutes and it is going to show you a video on Amazon's fulfillment center and how you will see in the video, how efficiently a fulfillment center is managed. You probably will not learn everything about a fulfillment center through a video. We have so far seen a number of videos but it will give you an idea as to how a fulfillment center works. So, I am going to show you the video now. So, uh, if you, uh, if you have followed the uh, video carefully, you would see that uh, what has been the, as, and as I said, a couple of minute video will not tell you anything about the fulfillment center. You need to study much more, probably you need to visit a fulfillment center and we intend to do so uh, as a part of our curriculum, uh, plan a visit to one of the, one of the distribution center or fulfillment center of a, of a major retailer or, or an e-commerce company. But if you have seen the video carefully, the, the, and they are what delivering what? They are delivering series, they are delivering books and these are not meant for retailers, these are ordered by individual customers and they are receiving the shipment. What has been the function? If you have seen, the shipments are received, they are packed, they are labeled, they are scanned and they are scanned while they are moving along the conveyor. The conveyor plays a major role in distributing the ship, uh, shipment, in sorting the shipment. We have seen one video, if you remember, when we discussed material handling, when we discussed pack packaging, how conveyors today are, 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 are extremely important um, in terms of material handling in a warehouse, particularly, uh, sorry, in a distribution or a fulfillment center. 
particularly if that center is dealing in shipments which are voluminous, which are large in numbers and it is impossible for manual sorting or manual dispatch of shipments. And here if you have seen the shipments, they are smaller in size though you would have seen a person in a, in a, in a forklift or, or in a, in a, in a um, he is carrying a number of shipments, but let me tell you these are multiple shipments, these are not one shipment, these are multiple shipment, multiple orders of customers. So, primarily they have received the shipment from the manufacturer whatever it may be could be a CD, could be could be a telecom, could be could be um, uh, apparels, could be um, anything. So, they receive the shipment, they process the order based on uh, the data received from the e-commerce company and then they arrange or they manage the logistics also. They also do a lot of now inventory management in fulfillment centers are not as high as distribution centers because we have just said distribution centers handles shipments in volumes in large volumes and uh, because they are distribution distributed to the retail centers. So, they uh, they have they have to uh, manage shipments for multiple retailers and multiple retailers have multiple customers to uh, deliver to or, or uh, attend, but a fulfillment centers have limited customers or what I mean to say is that they have shipments meant for individual customers. So, the warehousing or inventory management in a fulfillment center per se is not as complicated or as robust as you can see in a distribution center. So, that particular video I am sure in the days to come we will have more videos to show you okay, and we will probably try to break up the different functions of a fulfillment center. So, you have a better idea as to what fulfillment center does. So, we will continue with our uh, um, uh, slide um, with our presentation just going back to our presentation for a while. So, this is what we said the difference between the Amazon and, and um, Walmart. So, again the next slide tells you the terms the, the uh, particular difference because why we are constantly uh, referring to warehouse distribution center and distribution center fulfillment centers because trust me till today there is a lot of ambiguity there is lot of confusion between people and you know logistics and supply chain is a concept which is still growing in, in, in our country and the concept is still not very clear to everybody particular to the student world. We have a, have a macro view, we have a general concept, but we do not know exactly the functions and the operations involved in this uh, individual facilities. So, let us go back, just recap between, let us go back to the slide, warehouse is primary place of storage, static whereas, a distribution center is a dynamic. So, once shipment comes in a warehouse, it stays, it stays stored, the shipment does not move where in a distribution center, it keeps moving, it arrives, it is stored, it is packed, it is distributed, it is transported. So, there is lot of diamond, lot of activities that happens in a distribution center. Again, some of the differences, they look similar, but if you actually see videos, if you see images, if you visit these places, distributors not just to store items, but to facilitate movement value services provide value services like repackaging, bulk breaking, tech support of course, bulk bulk breaking because they receive a number of shipment of different manufacturer or from one manufacturer they receive from a number of shipment. So, they have to break bulk over here, they also need to consolidate. So, a warehouse often contains good which are manufactured and stored distribution centers in, involves movement of the products not only storage. And this is what we have been discussing, we will we will quickly because th these are the things we have discussed already that the impact of e-commerce and that is what has moved the traditional warehouses to a distribution center concept. So, pressure of logistics there is a there is a tremendous challenge we said that over a period of time. Uh, Every month, every year with the passage of time we see the customer requirement and demand is increasing. So, as and when the demand increases or the requirement increases, the, the quality of services has to be improved. So, there is a tremendous pressure on logistics and transportation. So, the distribution and store has to be very, very closely integrated. So, this is what we have been discussing this is the growth which has 
converted the concept of warehousing and distribution center, warehouse to distribution center and from distribution center ultimately to fulfillment center. Distribution centers are still required because fulfillment centers are not in a position to cater to bulk shipments. So, if you see we have given some examples of Amazon, they order huge variety of goods. The kind of operations that these companies are, which may not be visible right away, but even in our country, the, the, the mode of operation, the type of picking, warehouse uh, activities, the picking, um, uh, sorting and they are developing every day and within very short time you will see that we are uh, you know uh, brushing shoulders with any of the advanced company in terms of warehouse management or distribution center management. Uh, because some benchmark uh, these, these distribution centers and the fulfillment centers have, have given themselves some benchmark, incredible ben benchmark in terms of receiving it at the, the time limit between an order and the final delivery. And in order to fulfill that benchmark, a very sophisticated, automated, technology driven distribution centers and fulfillment centers are required. There are challenges of um, establishment, uh, goods to person order fulfillment centers evolve over the and continue to change with picking labor. Now, the, 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 the biggest challenge of this fulfillment of the distribution center is that every now and then the process and we have discussed this earlier also students, that the process of supply chain management as a whole is changing by the day. What you saw earlier and we discussed on a lighter note that uh, you ask your forefathers or grandfather, they never, never imagined that vegetables could be delivered online, that vegetables could be purchased online, that frozen foods can be made available, that peas can be purchased even in the summer, cauliflower ca can be purchased in summer or a fish which has been, which has been uh, picked up at a particular time can also be consumed after 6 months. That is what cold chain logistics has, has done. So, here what we are talking of these establishments, they start with a standard operations facilities, but they need to constantly evolve and who forces them to evolve are the e-commerce companies and who makes the e-commerce e companies to e evolve is the the end customers. So, that is the biggest channel every now and then these centers that we are referring to fulfillment of the distribution centers, they go through constant changes. So, it is very, very essential that they remain flexible in terms of their function, in terms of their infrastructure, in terms of financial investments, everything. Otherwise, they will fall back. Because business, business transactions are improving and changing. So, this is what the slide says is a change, there, are, there is tremendous competition, the trends require business to adapt supply chain transformation, fulfill demand. So, the last slide would give you and I repeat, the slides and the videos will never give you a complete picture and knowledge as to what the fulfillment center or a distribution would do. It is essential for you to read more and more there are a lot of uh, study materials available. I have been sending a lot of study materials to you, even last few a couple of days back I have sent a number of study materials uh, through the APSSDC portal. If anybody has a challenge, they can always write to me, I have provided my email ID. With this we come to the end of our topic, our subject on warehouses, go downs, distribution center and fulfillment center. And in the next session, we will go for a break as usual and the next center, uh, session will come back to you with our new topic on inventory management. Thank you.